Making a mess. So I got all the goats in the corral. It's a fucked up corral. I gotta rebuild it. <clears throat> but it's still standing, sorta. Of. Oh, let me turn this light off. Don't need that anymore. Oh. I was able to pet Paul today. Only because he was over there in the corner. I trapped him. And he was shaking because he was scared. But I scratched his neck and pet him and scratch his back to let him know I'm not going to hurt him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to trim their hooves today. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to be successful because I can't find my leash. <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do is get them one by one in this corral, this little small corral. <clears throat> After they're done eating. And I'll trim their hooves as best I can. And then I'm going to let them out for the first time. Well, technically the second time. But I'll let them out for the first time. <clears throat> and with all the gunshots going on, maybe they'll stay close. Because it's hunting season. <clears throat> maybe I shouldn't let them out because it's hunting season. But... I'm rotating them to this first yard. There's still some plenty. There's still plenty of uh, forage here, but not really a lot, lot. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I should let them out or not. I don't think anybody will shoot them. They're looking for deer. <clears throat> but... I don't know. It's just two days. I'll let them out today and tomorrow. Alright, she looks like she's ready to be... Have her hose trimmed. So we're gonna get her done. Maybe we'll do Paul first. But she is friendly. She'll let me pet her. Yeah. This one will too, but not as much. <laughs> Alright. All right, that was a workout. But I got all five of them done. I still got my ammunition in my pocket. Not too bad, not too bad. Make sure I didn't lose any of it. Should have five rounds here, I got four. Uh-oh, I did lose a round, I think. I have to look and see. Where it is. Maybe I only have four. I'll have to go back. Well, probably get down here with the metal detector and see, but maybe I only have four. Maybe I had the number five in the gun. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let them out today. Even though they're shooting off guns. I'll open this gate. Matt! I'm done with you. <sighs> so, now I'm starting to get cold again. <sighs> oh, let me open this up. I'll get my gloves. So yeah, I'm basically just bring them in here, feed them. Probably should have gave them some extra food. Maybe I'll do that just to warm them back up to me. I'll go back up, get them some food, then I'll open the gate. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Well, barely nothing in there. <clears throat> I 
I'm gonna head and let them out. They'll follow me with this bucket, I'm sure. <clears throat> She's gonna lick the bucket. So I'm gonna lick this thing clean. Okay, maybe not. <clears throat> so they've been here for six weeks. I'm just rotating them back to the first yard. <clears throat> Trim their hooves. So, they're all trimmed. She was the worst, the alpha. Paul, he was past due, but I trimmed him in the spring with the other goats, the other Nigerians. There's nothing in there. That's funny. She uses her hoof like a hand. She's like, give me that. She's pretty smart. I had to smack her yesterday. <clears throat> she, uh, she's a rammer too. She tries to ram me when uh, I'm not complying with what her wishes. <clears throat> but I go up here, get them some more grain as a treat for trimming their hooves. Yeah, we've had goats for 10 years and David Ray never trimmed their hooves. I didn't even find out about it <clears throat> until this year when I was doing my homework. Because I was taking goats to the next level. <laughs> We're trying to, but then Judas basically let a lot of my herd die. They got pink eye and whatnot and he just neglected them, let them die. He's like, fuck it, not my problem. If I didn't come home and save them when I did, even Cleopatra, who's his goat, would have died, but he didn't really care about her anyways. So, anyways, they need to have their hooves trimmed about every four to six months, I think. You know, at least two to three times a year. But what I'm gonna do Hopefully, maybe, <clears throat> just get some big rocks for them and put them in their yard, make them a little mini mountain so they can keep their own hooves trimmed and I don't have to trim them as much. It'll be a little more money, but it'll be less work in the long run. I gotta keep them out of this yard though. I'm gonna get some more regular goat food and mix it in with this other stuff. Dilute this other stuff. Go in and light. Lights, camera, action. Man. So this is basically some grains my brother gave me he was working in a uh, seed plant so it's oats wheat and whatnot mixing it with goat food and chicken food because i ain't got no more chickens so i figured i'll just dilute the chicken feed in with the goat feed all right here we go turn the light off and then zoom back out again there's my raspberry patch over there in the corner. <clears throat> I'm going to plant my raspberries that I got from Arkansas over there. The goats are gone. Meh! 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 
That'll get them spaced out where they won't fight over it so much. Meh. Meh. Right there. Whoa. <laughs> There's some here too. Here, Paul. He's like, yeah, I'm good. I got some right here. <sighs> it's like candy for them. What I did find out is uh, you don't want to give the billies too much corn because it's bad for their uh, urinary tract. So, uh, but I don't give them a lot. <clears throat> Judas, David Ray, used to feed them strictly corn all the time. Which is probably why half his billies died, but... <clears throat> I don't know. He never trimmed their hooves. He fed them corn. <clears throat> he never tested them for worms. He never dewormed them, except for once that I know of. <clears throat> so... Yeah, he didn't take very good care of his animals. Like I said, I just found out about... I was first found out about the parasites and testing them for worms and deworming them in 2019. David Ray came down in uh, 2013, so that's six years later. I finally found out you had to regularly test them and uh, <coughs> deworm them. Um, before that, I think in 2016, I remember him making a nap, making an herbal dewormer for one of his goats. <clears throat> and that was it. I was like, I didn't know anything. I was stupid. You know, he was supposed to be the professional. So I started learning in 2019. Started testing them for worms. <clears throat> and deworming them. And then I started working on an all-natural herbal blend. He's supposed to be the alpha, but Paul rules the roost. <clears throat> She's the alpha female. He's the alpha. <clears throat> Which is pretty good for a weather. He don't take no guff. That powder they're look he's looking up now is uh, uh, granules for the chickens. So it's still good, healthy stuff. I'm not sure what's in it, but it's healthy. <clears throat> uh, also might, might be the diatomaceous earth and the other herbs. So the more they lick that stuff up, the more uh, anti-parasite herbs they'll have in their body. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> She's not as friendly as the other little one, but I can pet both of them, so that's cool. I'm surprised uh, they're not mad at me for trimming their hooves. This one here can almost pet this one here she don't she's like i'm the alpha leave me alone i don't want to be touched <clears throat> she's more like a pain in the butt than she is an alpha Look that up. <clears throat> it's good for you. Paul's done.
<clears throat> All right. Since they seem to be following Paul's lead, I think they'll be fine. Paul knows where he lives. <clears throat> So I'll put them back put them back up tonight. <clears throat> and I'll let them back out tomorrow morning. <clears throat> I'm also gonna look into getting some hay for them as well. <clears throat> it's basically a hundred bucks. I might I don't have the money this weekend, but next weekend I will. It's basically going to be $50 a bale. So if it don't rain next week, I'll basically uh, have them bring it into the second goat yard. And uh, I'll figure out how to... Well, I could probably go ahead and have them drop it one in each yard and then... <clears throat> And put cattle panel ring around it so that uh, they don't <coughs> soil it. And my mom bought me a good hay fork. Uh, one like David Ray used to have that I liked. It's a big fat wide one instead of a narrow one. I don't like the narrow ones. I mean narrow ones are lighter but they don't grab as much stuff. <coughs> so. I just noticed her ear. I hope that's not fresh. Don't look fresh. Oh they're eating the acorns. She's like, it's probably where they had a tag in her ear before. <clears throat> That's why I like tagging them. <clears throat> a good thing they're not nursing because these acorns are not good for them if they're nursing. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to grab my gun and head up front. Hi, Candy. So that's Candy. That's Tails, because he's got a super long tail. Callie, Mimi. I haven't got a name for the young black one yet. <coughs> Tiger. And then Swirl. She's around here somewhere. She stays in the goat yard. This is Mimi. The queen bee. Yeah. Ow, that's my leg. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, don't get lost. Don't get shot. Stay close. Alright. Callie. Callie. Callie girl. Callie girl. Callie, Callie, Callie. Callie, Callie, Callie. Callie. Cali <laughs> <coughs> 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 girl Cali Cali Are you healing up better? You look like you are. Finally. Finally. You're a tough kitty. You're a tough kitty. I'm glad too. We need tough cats around here. <clears throat> I wonder if the neighbor's dogs are attacking our cats. I should say uh, my cats. There is no hour anymore really. <clears throat> There really was. <sighs> I 
It was just me and a bunch of moochers. Candy. She's the princess. <laughs> she loves attention. They all do. Yeah. Are you the princess? She's like, yeah, love me. So I'm still working on cleaning this place up, but a little bit by a little bit. <clears throat> Got my mom's camper moved over to Kaplinger. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. Paul still don't trust me. <clears throat> Especially now that I pinned them all down. Trimmed their hooves. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Oh shit, it scared me. Uh, so yeah, Big Mama. She's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna call her Ramsey because she likes to ram me. <clears throat> but, um, uh, <clears throat> she'll have a, a new home here in a couple weeks. Oh, that's gotta go to the burn. <clears throat> Meh. So, I don't know when I'll put, do the raspberries, but they're going in here. So. <clears throat> Alright, bye.